Hey there YouTube. So in this video I wanted to talk about the IRS Form 1127. This is an application for extension of time for payment of taxes due to undue hardship. So if you file a tax return and you find you owe taxes at the end of the year and you can't pay it, there are a couple of options, right? First option is usually just to do an installment uh, request. That's via Form 9465. I have a separate video on that. I'll leave a link below if you think that that's your better option. This is an option where you owe taxes, but for undue hardship reasons, you really can't pay it. So when you look at your financial situation, even the installment plan might not work for you. Right, so in order to get a request, uh, an extension request to pay that tax, you submit this form to the IRS. And after they review the form, uh, they will let you know whether they grant your request or not. So I want to go through the form and, example, and an example of um, the financial statements that you'll need to attach. So again, this is Form 1127. Um, we're filling this out for an individual taxpayer, right? So we have John Q. Taxpayer here. He filed the Form 1040 for the 2020 tax year. Finds out he owes taxes and he can't pay it, right? So John Q. Taxpayer here, the name on the return, his social security number, and his address. In part one here, we're asking for an extension from April 15th, 2021 to December 15th, 2021, right? So again, he, the taxes he owed for 2020 had to be paid by April 15th, 2021. He couldn't pay it. The amount he owes is $5,000, right? So this request is for a form 1040 and this request is for calendar year 2020 right so recall that generally when you file your tax return the due date for the return and to make the payment of tax owed is april 15th following that year okay so in part two you have to enter an explanation for why you meet the um uh, the undue hardship standard so here we've indicated that john he was recently fired from his job because the employer went out of business. Again, no fault of his own. Um, his job just got eliminated. Uh, John is searching for work. Uh, he's searching for new employment, but he's been unable to find a new job. And he's letting the IRS know that, look, as soon as I find a new job and begin earning a wage again, I'll pay the balance owed, I promise. Right. So in part three here, this is also very important. You have to check both boxes and attach the required documents, right? So the first one is a statement of assets and liabilities at the end of the last month. Uh, he's filing this in August, so we're going to do a statement of assets and liabilities through the end of July, right? So July 31, 2021. And then he also has to include an itemized list of income and expenses for each of the three months prior to the due date of the tax. So we prepared a, uh, an income and expense, a profit and loss statement for three months leading up to April 15th, 2021. And then of course he needs to sign and date this form as well. So let's look at an example of the financial statement that he would include with this. So very simple statement we prepared for John. We have a balance sheet here and then we have a statement of income and expenses, okay? So on this balance sheet, uh, re recall a balance sheet for a company or for a person is your total assets, your liabilities, and then whatever your net worth is. So John's indicated here that he has $1,500 in his bank account. That's what he has in cash. Uh, he has a vehicle that he thinks is worth about $5,000. And then he has some computer equipment that also includes, let's say, his cell phone that he thinks is worth a thousand bucks. So his total assets are seventy five hundred dollars. Now, if you look at the liability section here, uh, he owes some credit card debt. He's got eight thousand credit card debt. He's past due on his rent, right? So he owes his rent uh, to landlord. So that's a liability, twelve hundred bucks. And then he's got some student loans here, right? He's got some substantial student loans, 25K, still paying those down. So his total liabilities are $34,200. His net equity, he's in a net equity deficit, right? So he's 26,700 in the hole. Um, again, remember your net worth is total assets minus your liabilities. If your liabilities exceed your net worth or your assets, your net worth is negative. So that's his uh, statement of financial position uh, or otherwise known as a balance sheet. And then if we go to his income and expenses, 
Um, earned income, zero, right? I mean, like you said, he was laid off because his business, um, his employer went out of business. So he's got no earned income right now. He's got some interest income, right? Whatever the interest earned is on that cash account, not much, obviously. And then these are his expenses. So for the three months, his rent is, you know, 600 bucks a month. So $1,800 for three months. Utilities, gas for his vehicle, right? He's driving around trying to find work. So he spent a lot of money on gas, food. Obviously, he needs food to live. His cell phone. Um, and then he's got some credit card interests on, on that balance he owed. And then his student loan payments, right? 1200 bucks. So he's spending 400 a month times three. That's 1200 bucks. These are his total expenses. And that's his net income, right? So he's really, really hurting right now. Uh, 4800 in the hole for a three-month period. So this is his undue hardship claim, right? I mean, in order to pay that balance due of 5K, he would have to use all of his cash. He would have to sell his vehicle, sell his computer equipment. I mean, he, and even if he does that, he already has all these other debts as well. So his undue hardship claim is, look, I, I really cannot afford to cut a check for $5,000 in taxes right now give me a little breather here and let me pay this, you know, perhaps towards the end of the year. So uh, this is one option. If you have taxes, though, this applies to both individuals and and uh, corporations, right? If you have a corporation that's really hurting for cash, you can file this as well. Um, but, you know, in addition to this, one of the other options are installment requests that, that usually has better success when you, when you submit those to the IRS. So got a couple of options. This is one of them. Um, hope this helps. Uh, you know, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Uh, happy to answer those, you know, where I can. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.